For a future project, I want to use this linear actuator, but for that I'm going to need to remove this ball bearing. Ideally, I get to remove the ball bearing, the bell pulley, and all of these components so that I can access the different parts. Usually what I do is that I take this to my 12-ton Harbor Freight Press, and I try to apply a downward force by using something like a nail or a screw. But unfortunately, this press is so unstable that it is basically impossible to apply a downward force. The parts are kind of shaky and uh, it just doesn't align. And, you know, as I am coming down into the nail or whatever I'm using, it just gets so flaky. It just doesn't work. Now, recently I acquired this tool chest and within its amazing <laughs> contents, I was able to find a chuck with a threaded rod and I'm thinking, oof, what if I could create a leaf? So I took some measurements and turns out this is a 3 8 inch, 24 thread per inch screw. So this is a fairly simple project for the lathe. We're gonna take some aluminum and uh, I'm gonna face it and I'm gonna create uh, two, two holes, basically one bore for the spindle, one inch, and in here I'm using a 2164 drill to uh, be able to tap that 3/8/24, and this is the topping with a 3/8/24. And here we go. It has been tested. It's, it looks perfect. So that part of the deal is done. Now I'm gonna use the Tormac to do the um, the four holes for uh, attaching the sleeve into the arbor or into the chaff of the um, of the uh, press. And the reason that I use the Tormac is because it is way easier to find the center. On the Tormac and uh, to make those holes, so I'm not. I'm now um, using a 964 uh, drill bit to get four screws, a little topping with a 832 tap, and now we're ready to mount the sleeve into the press. Now here, missing the screw, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the nail, and I am gonna come down into the part. Here's the moment of truth. For whatever reason, I always need to use my tongue when honing in something. I've never managed to figure out why, but uh, it is like my brain assistant. And here we go. Let's see how good this works. And I got to tell you guys, this was basically like butter. It just went so stable, so incredible. I couldn't believe it. Here's a little close up. And I tell you, this went from it is impossible to I feel like I'm cheating on how easy this is. So these are the three components, the chuck, the threaded rod, and the sleeve created on the lathe and the CNC mill. Uh, man, you just screw it in and uh, put it in your arbor press. Notice the one inch uh, diameter hole to put it on the chaff or the spindle or whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is my project. Hope you like it. To be honest, these presses should come with this, but of course, they're never going to sell you the press uh, so cheaply with this tool, so you're going to have to make your own. But this changes the game considerably. It makes it goes from impossible to this is too easy. Hey, thank you for tuning to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Have a good one.